what's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my, my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, most of our fighting was being done in, in Italy against Spain, if I'm not mistaken. And we have an op interesting opportunity here to knock out or to capture the Italian Peninsula and then launch some raids up the Adriatic against the Ottomans. Well, in future we will be able to do that. Because right now we are kind of just fortifying our front and focusing on expansion in the Americas. And we're starting to really crank up our incomes. We're at 31,000 a turn, which is huge. And we're really starting to drive up our um, trade goods. So new fifth rates. Oh, sorry. I was in my <laughs> Flags are kind of similar when you're zooming out. Like, oh, okay, it's blue. Oh, no. Wait. Wrong kind of blue. Okay, so you guys replenish whatever you can, whatever we've got left, but we, to be honest, don't have any capital left. But we're going to take Port Royal, Antigua, Punda to knock out the pirates, and then Martinique and the two rebel territories down here um, in, in uh, South America. But apart from that, where well, you're holding, because I'm going to probably want to recruit another army down here to drive down towards Rome and Naples. It's nice they gave given away Cagliari. Obviously, we do want an army to advance down towards Madrid. That's what you're going to do. Is to land maybe against Morocco. Take Morocco, then push to Gibraltar to provide a southern threat to the Spanish. But first of all, let's hit enter before we do too much theorizing, because we need some of that money. Well, there we go. That's going to dictate some of what we're going to do. Not that I'm really bothered about them threatening to go to war. Eh, no. They're hungry for you. Um, not that I'm really worried about what Spain might do with their army in France. Because the army that's in Venice is probably going to push out. We're going to recruit a small garrison in Venice to hold off or to dissuade the Ottomans from doing much. Then we are going to use them to drive south towards Rome. But again, it's another uh, turn where we're going to have to dump a bunch of our income into uh, recruiting troops. I mean, it will take them more than one more turn to get to Paris, I think, from France, particularly if they decide to get off-road and do some raiding. So we do definitely have a free turn of recruitment. Okay, the Russian, yeah, the Russians are still building up. It's a bit awkward. It's going to be a bit, a bit dangerous once we start fighting them. But I'm probably going to end up sending an army towards Archangels to the north. That's usually quite a good route to go to create some danger in the Russian rear areas. They start to pull troops away from the front. Good old Louisiana is doing the Lord's work in clearing out the Americas of pirate troops. And we do still have that Mughal army in Copenhagen, which I've got to deal with, but I do have an army in on the you know mainland Denmark ready to push. So we're not going to get quite as much money as we'd like, because we're going to see enemy impacts from trade. Actually, it's still 31,000, actually. That's still pretty big. New port emerges. Memel, East Prussia. Trade port and... Immediately move sloop over. Port blockaded, port blockaded. Construction report, in modern university, which is great. It's a couple of industry buildings. Uh, upgrade dry dock and cobbled roads in Havana, which is good. A new town emerges in West Prussia. Yep, you can have a craft workshop. Let's repair you. So Mr. Spedbacker. Ooh, maybe with that turn of recruitment, might not be quite so assured. So you men replenish. You men. We're not currently at war with Genoa. You definitely put them at risk. You men hold Venice. You men try and make your way up there as well. Paris. Okay, I might have to emergency redeploy you. Well, these chaps, Mr. Farber. Emergency redeploy him. 
Okay, right. To maximize movement. So I'm pretty sure as soon as these guys are deployed, they're going to immediately go, Oh, we can't take Paris. Start raiding. So you guys then hold. Our fourth rate, which are some of our first ships, we recruited that are actually they're going to, that are actually going to do some good. Go on, you guys get into Portsmouth. Let's get uh, let's get a third rate, two third rates of the line. Because you do have options for second rates, but not not going to crank up that production just yet. Okay, so now Mr. Farber is ready to push against Spain because ultimately it's quite a garrison, quite a uh, colonial force. Strasbourg, or maybe Munich. Munich recruits a selection of line infantry to deploy to the west. Let's hop back to the Americas. Let's see, you chaps replenish. Don't worry about a port yet, because you haven't even got good roads. We can upgrade the coffee warehouse. You don't have a export problem yet. You still have an export problem. It should be fixed next turn. Okay, let's upgrade the high yield sugar plantation. Let's upgrade. You have an export problem. Nope, not yet. So let's create one. Meg yield, average yield, meg yield, okay. Maybe let's get a cheaper tobacco plantation upgrade. So then you chaps here, well, you are replenishing, but you're gonna push against the Mughals and we're gonna be a, more, a bit more cautious than we previously were last time. Now you're pushing up to that army there, which you don't really need to do. In fact, what's more critical is you push up to back up Mr. S um, Speckbacker. Oh, do you really just run out of movement just at the edge? Okay, do you guys... Yeah, they do. They quite badly rebel. Okay, repair the port. Build a sloop. Genoa is going to be at war with us very soon because they are not happy with us and they're allied with Spain. So, ideally, these troops uh, build up their strength, demand the surrender of Milan, then declare war on Genoa and siege Genoa when this force pushes south towards Rome. Yeah, we are building fortifications here, which is good. Let's build two units of marines to help guard the city. Let's probably spend a bit of cash beefing up our garrisons here in the east. Okay, that works out quite well. 30,000 next turn. We are recruiting a lot of troops. Yeah, you're trying to get up to no good. So in terms of research, oh, you're going after far in advance. Vismar is again is doing puddling furnace. And all the art is doing reform naval administration, which they're all good, really. It would be nice to get down towards quicklime shells, but I accept that we do have other priorities. So your job is going to... How happy are you? Very. Because we've attacked you. Well, first of all, cavalry units can stop you from building that madrasa. We're going to let you keep building the dry dock, but we're going to cancel the building of the madrasa. Oh, horse guard artillery, I see. That's where... That must, okay, we can combine some units to make space for you. Definitely want horse guard artillery. Okay, let's hit in turn. It's been a while since I've uh, recruit, uh, recorded a Bavaria episode. Yes, yeah, so they've gone off road, which means they've had to take an indirect route which means they've used up movement points. And the army from Paris is going to sally, smash that Spanish army, and push them back.
and that's going to they're going to squeeze them down into towards Madrid. And that's going to be quite nice. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, it's, there's a lot of oh Russians aboard ship. Dodgy land against Sweden. Don't go for us. Good. I don't mind if they take Sweden. If they take, the more Swedish territory they take, the easier, or the more territory we will take when we eventually declare war on the Russians or they declare war on us. But yes, keep building our economic base, keep expanding our armed forces. We're still getting a good amount of trade. I think we are able to weather almost any challenge that the AI elects to throw at us. Stupid pirates. Twenty six thousand, yeah, it'll be because we've upgraded we've built a lot of troops. Okay, a lot of good industrial buildings. Let's upgrade the Iron Masters works. It would behoove me in the longer run to recruit more troops. Or to put to build more um, barracks elsewhere. Because then we can use. Then when we, when we try and recruit armies, it will we'll be able to recruit. We will be able to use the recruit to army functions, and we won't be so bottlenecked by particular territories having highly upgraded buildings. It's a great duty, Imperial Palace. You're still waiting for your marines. Get you some militia. Militia are good. They're not bad garrison troops. It won't be long till you've got your walls. Okay, as they've marked, they've they've moved away from southern France. You men are going to. Oh, okay, they're not going to surrender. So then you're going to have to just abandon the siege. We could try take them both, but I'm not. I'm. I'm not a fan of leaving exposed areas in the rear. I can start to try and build up a bit of a garrison force to hold the city, which is probably a smart idea actually. Okay, let's move a sloop over to Nice. We can upgrade Marseille if we like. But we probably want to keep a bit of cash in reserve. Okay, you're fully replenished. So let's take one of these infantry units, send them to Madrid, send them to Munich. So then these troops can combine and be make ready to cross once more. But the immediate or the more immediate threat is near Paris. So Mr. Rodriguez. Oh my god. Yep, that's a very, very, very weak Spanish force. So this army, well, I'm probably gonna split some of the dragoons up and recruit some heavy cavalry. To fill in the gaps and make this a bit more of a well-rounded force, and then they're going to march south towards Madrid, probably with another force in re in reserve, ready to continue the push and to fight off any extra stacks of Spanish troops that may exist. So, deploy my guns to the rear because the enemy force is very weak. The only units they have that are in good nick are, I think they pretty much guerrilla units, mercenary, like light mercenary light infantry unit type things, which aren't super strong, and they don't they don't they're weak in melee. They're not so great at shooting. I mean, they are individually better shots than my troops. But they don't have the numbers to uh, to do much with it. They're great additions to an army, superb additions to an army, but uh, not a capability you want to base an army around. So push up quite aggressively. Yeah, bandoleros, that's the word for it. That's them. 
They're the only units that are actually in full strength. Most of their other units are all depleted in various ways, but you can see they are pushing up to match us. Push some of my cavalry in. thing is, I do want to try and destroy the enemy. Lots of these units are ripe to be destroyed. Send these men push around the flank. You men push up. Yep, here comes the Spanish cavalry, but uh, yeah, no, not great. You men hit that Bandoleros unit. Yep, so they're just they're a delicious light infantry unit that's that are perfect to get gobbled up by cavalry of pretty much any description. Yeah, the pikemen have made it to our lines. My line infantry charge into the flank because pikes are useful, just not when they can get when they get surrounded quite easily. Then they get a bit more upset. Okay, you guys go after that line infantry unit. You go after them. Artillery just stop firing because it's just killing more of my men than theirs. There we go, the pikemen are wavering, because yeah, they, they are good, but infantry, just regular old heavy infantry, is pretty capable. It might take a few, a significant actually, number of losses to those cavalry, but actually what we will observe is that they don't have the morale to stick around for too long, although I say that and they immediately start sticking around. You go after those light Spanish bandits, you're engaging those Amazons, you're engaging those Bandoleros. Which hopefully now the general's here, we can redeploy you guys. Okay, you men bayonet charge them in the rear, you men bayonet charge that line infantry unit. You men go after the Swiss Grenadiers, you men go after that regiment there. There's only one line infantry unit there, then go after the militia. Your demi cannons are down. Lots of you guys can just cease fire. Yep, yeah, cavalry, there's only one cavalryman left. And this unit of Swiss pikes, which has done an admirable job at trying to penetrate my line. Sadly, got charged in the rear by units of grenadiers, which are like... When I say heavy infantry aren't slouches in combat. Ooh, go on. Swiss grenadier, he's, he's one of the last people left. Have at you! Okay, let's speed up time. I am going to want to carry on. it would be ideal if I could knock out as many of these units as possible. There's a slim chance that I can actually cause the army on the campaign map to disappear completely. Oh, these guys are probably going to escape. There's three left, but they've spread out quite well. One man left. Okay, he's down. That's it's all against this last unit over there. 
Yep, it's all against this unit, but there's yeah, there's there's an edge of the map. This is what happens when you try and attack my territory, Spain. Damn right it was decisive. We smashed them, we're gonna send them scuttling south. Or oh, are they dead completely? There's only 75 left. Ah nuts. You can't even get after them. Ooh. Everyone who isn't a un an a a unit that joined the army recently. So Mr. Farber. Well, first of all, choppity chop. That was our Farber. Replenish, send a Dragoon unit to Munich just to all my new armies are probably going to be recruited in Central Europe. Let's recruit a heavy cavalry unit. Then advance down to the Spanish border. You men hold. Let's upgrade all the on to next level university. Okay, I think it's probably worth trying to drop some extra better... Um, recruitment capability a bit more centrally to my empire so I don't run into too many bottlenecks you could probably build a you, you could probably build a church school and start to send agents forward I mean, lots of these armies are pretty naff Probably want to recruit a another force to the south at Gdansk, or to the to the west at Konigsberg in Gdansk. Ernst Merck. That's Ernest. It's probably actually Ernest, because you could do with adding a bit more mass. Okay, let's get a Freikor line. So then you can act as a bit of a reinforcement to either Konigsberg or Warsaw, or whoever needs it the most, but ultimately, ooh, I could probably do with recruiting some. We're getting rid of these demi cannons, or more accurately, sending them back to Munich. So I want to try and get out of the habit of disbanding units and just saying, no, if I've got units, use them, but just kind of. Maybe as a second tier army. You're in quite good shape. May as well wait for you to be fully replenished because it gives um, another turn of protection for Venice to stop the Ottomans from getting any ideas. Apart from that, we could probably do something in the Americas. I, mean, I, know, I know they don't have to be fully replenished, but I don't, I'm not super bothered about sprinting everywhere. A handful of ships can go out and knock out that brace built galleon. And probably hold in Bahamas itself. Because then, when these guys are ready, we can sail and attack Port Royal. Okay, let's hit in turn. Yeah, you know, pain's come in Spain. Ooh, there's another full army. Interesting. Could probably do with a Mediterranean squadron, but I don't think I'm going to be able to recruit it anywhere. Unless I capture Italy. <laughs> do I want to intercept? No. Do I want to intercept again? No. <laughs> Taking a raid in the channel, I can't even... I can't do a thing about it. Well, I am a land... European land power. All of my threats are on land. I've got three great empires on my border that I need to deal with. For now, luckily, it's just Spain. I'm not at war with the Ottomans, I'm not at war with Russia. They're still at war with each other, I think. So hopefully that will keep them off my back for a while. I think I'm going to take advantage of the quiet. Or relative quiet. And it looks like the Ottomans are going to be silly chaps when it comes to the end turn phase. So I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. Well, 
<laughs> it moved then, but they're probably going to take... Oh, I don't know, actually. No. Eh. If they're going to keep... If they're going to do stuff we can see... Great. I don't like chopping that out, but if it's just going to do... Okay, if it's going to do this, then I'm going to chop it. See you in a second, everyone. Oh, God. Stop doing this to me, Ottoman. I like showing you what's going on on the campaign map, because it kind of influences what I'm doing. Some people do chop out the end turn phase completely, and I, I do get it, because it's not... You could consider it dead content, but I think it makes more... It helps provide context for you guys as to what's going on, rather than me just telling you what I think is important. But now it looks like they're going to be silly. Okay, see you in a second, everyone literally like two or three seconds after I chopped the recording. <laughs> oh no. Okay, the Ottomans didn't join them. Poland didn't join them. Very well. So it begins. And I wonder where... Okay, this is where I needed a, I need a bigger fleet. I need, I need a Baltic fleet now. But ideally I'll take Copenhagen. Then I can bottle them up. Good, a good guy, New Spain. Uh, nope. Okay. Pirates are going to pirate. 19,000. Okay, it's quite a big, a big hit to our treasury, but not a decisive one. Okay, so Mr. Farber advanced towards Spain, just to keep them on their toes. You men recombine with Mr. Speckbacker. You men reinforce and get down. Oh, I should have just made you... I should have just made you join forces with... I should have made you come down to here, because that's... Okay, that, from position's perspective, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, one more turn till you get fortifications. I think we can probably let you get away with that. Let's firm up our reinforcements a little bit. So you certainly need to need to gain some extra mass. Get unit for SARS, get a Lancer Guard unit, get a Hohenzollern unit and a QRCA unit. Plus, ooh, Chevrolet Leger, Kaiser. Okay, let's not get some grenadiers yet, but let's get two units of line. Because yeah, having more barracks around means that more units are recruited from more areas simultaneously, rather than units stacking up one behind the other. You are going to hold here because I can't let Poland get through. I could even build a fortification or I could just sit on the bridge. No. It's better just to have you in the town. Because if I, if I sit here, they may retreat west. If I stand here, they may well retreat north over the bridge. Whereas if I go here, the movement zone hits them clearly over here and they should stay south of the river and to the east of our empire. You men combine. Oh no, sorry, you're going to go... No, you're backing up this chap. You men push up to Mr. Merck. So again, this is where our road building would come into it. So if I can take out Copenhagen, I gain access... or I get two ports... I mean, I still get. Oh, I still. I still have ports. I'm just not really using them properly. Let's recruit two third rates. You're okay. We've got a few probing units coming in. What I should do really is make sure I build top tier artillery building. Great arsenal's what I've got. A gunnery school is what I want to build but I think I need to build an ordnance call ordnance uh, ordnance board that's what I want to build to build okay let's, so where's that 
you. And maybe Orleon. Maybe that. Okay, let's get an ordnance board built. That'll get us quick lime, and then our ability to to uh, deal with significant numbers of Russian troops will be greatly improved. Fire in advance has been researched. We have infantry here in London. Actually, no, your job, sorry, was to stay in Portsmouth. You could do stuff. It's only a, that's only a bomb catch. It's mostly this Russian threat that's got me vexed. Elsewhere, things are looking pretty good. You guys are going to move west. So now you've covered both directions. I don't think... Because if they go this way, they will have to get really around us. I mean, it won't be long till Genoa goes for us. Which, as far as I'm concerned, bring it on. Oh, good buildings... Okay, can I leave Nassau? I can. Get over here. I'm going to want to build a sloop to occupy the port. I mean, I could. I mean, I know I could split this force into two and send one to Jamaica, one to Antigua, and just do it that way. It's definitely possible. Oh, and I don't own Quebec. It's just a very similar colour. That is actually the faction of Quebec. So next turn on to 17,000. Again, trade is quite heavily impacted now, but again, I can't really do much about this entire army here. So let's get ready to not spend any money next turn, because I'm going to have to fight you. Well, I should have fight you now. Come on then, Ramon Ayala. Because that's the main force they've got over towards Rome. So when we destroy this force... They might then, well, hopefully they go east, not west. They should go east. Uh, it would make sense for them to go east, but you never really know. But if I can destroy or do as much damage as possible to this force now, it makes taking Rome easier, which means we can take Naples easier. Oh, they might actually just, just uh, dig in on the hill, in which case then... We're going to have to turf them off, so my guns get a significant portion of the hill. My howitzers are ready. Let's form our infantry line. I do have that a, a unit of militia, which is which was originally meant to garrison the town. My skirmishers are going to be on the right, away from the town. Cavalry. It's a bit awkward placing my cavalry, because I'm quite squashed in here. Okay, I won't be quite so squashed in when I deploy. So my Fry Corps Cavalry fire will off but push them up because there's a unit of cavalry out there that's ripe for being attacked by my skirmish cavalry. Get my okay, you guys are going to push down the left of the hill. Some of you are. That is most frustrating. But I think you'll probably come down and around into the town, so... I should keep you guys... Yeah, keep you guys kind of back. My foot artillery just attacking whatever we fancy. My howitzers can keep attacking the cannons. Push my frog cavalry up full up first, so they're gonna run to get ahead of the enemy. Or well, to get ahead of my friendlies. And get within range of the regiment of horse. Ready aim. Fire! I only killed two. Charge in. There's only 26 of them, so that's not going to be a huge risk. 
So you men are going to push up to here. No. Don't shift orders. Stupid hands. Pay attention to me. Okay, right. And my skirmishers are going to push up on the flank. Yeah, there go the regiment of horse. There we go. They're starting to push down the hill towards us. Are they charging? No, it's just the first regiment of dragoons, but they're probably going to run into my unit. So you guys form square. Get my Frycor cavalry over here on the flank ahead of my cuirassier. Bayonet charge the dragoons. Don't let them form. There we go, my battle line is in position. We've destroyed the enemy guns. So get my cannons to just attack whatever units are on the field. Go on, irregulars. Oh, no noise, there we go. Pikemen, eh? These men are up front, they're taking the bullets. There's my Frycore cavalry, they're gonna do they're gonna love a bit of this. the militia. Curacier, get them in. Okay, right, go for the pikemen, because they you, A, you crashed into them, and B, they are also wavering. Then retreat. That's the dragoons routing. You men push up. Fusiliers form square. Human form upon the flank of the 17th. Got plenty of cavalry to maul these routing troops. Cavalry here is not really going to get too much use. To be honest, I think my guns attack them because they're going to chase them all the way up the hill. They're not going to really be able to push us away. Keep advancing. Fuse layers are formed square, so now they're going to hold off the cavalry. They've only got militia really down here to try and stop them. These marines have seen to that, they're firing into the cavalry here. New men push up the hill, because this is quite the enemy route. Well, it was always going to be quite the route because the enemy just had no strength. You men all engage the 16th, you men all engage the 32nd. So now the line infantry is coming to is being brought to bear. The forming square, what good it'll do them. Artillery slamming home, killing many Spaniards. So many units in range. These Bavarian Fusiliers are going to show you a thing or two. Come on, men, make ready. So many Spanish troops right there. Ultimately, all these fellas are going to rout. Yeah, there they go. The artillery certainly helped. Break them right at the end. Kill the enemy general, which is always nice. Then attack the 18th. They're getting engaged into a gun war with my troops down the hill. And they're steady. Now they're wavering. When these volleys thrash in, they're definitely going to rout. The 
They're just out of range of the 12 foot guards. What a pity. That artillery broke their resolve. See you later, Spaniards. Nice. Okay, so that should hopefully they go east. Oh, look at that for an exchange ratio. Every ten of every one of my guys killed, we killed ten of theirs. Look at that. That's what I mean about the AI. They routed west rather than east. Ugh. In a logical world, not giving you socket bearing there. In a logical world, they route towards their own line. You would think, unless I'm being crazy. Oh, okay, right. Do I now drop? No. Yeah, they're they're just massing, ready for a future attack. But if they can wait eight or nine turns, then we should we'll probably have a quick line by then, which means that they will need a ludicrous amount of troops to attack a Bavarian fort. All the while, we consolidate and expand our positions. Hey, if we take Italy, we might be able to send an amphibious invasion around to take Crimea away from the Russians. Then dig in, build forts everywhere, cover all the bridges. Use it as a as a front where we can try and wear down the Russians. We will deprive them of a small amount of their income. Ottomans on the move. Hey, where'd that Spanish fleet go? It was there. Hmm. Things are afoot. Um, yes, looks like Ottomans are up to their tricks. So, see you in a second, everyone. Ah, the Russians are on the move, but not towards us. And again, just after I chop the recording. Hopefully, though, we should get some good siege defences, that means, in upcoming turns. At least you would hope. Yeah, the Mughals are expanding their little raiding empire, but not they might actually ooh, they might use those ships to go pick up the army that's in Iceland, and that would be unfortunate. So let's send some ships to go raid. Or send my small fleet up there to raid to prevent them from transporting their army. That's a good call, I think. So This squadron get up here okay right actually first of all use one of my old sloops to try find them because i don't think that i've got any they wouldn't they will have definitely progressed further than this if they're not already there okay let's just raid the ports again Yeah, that is a, f a full army. They've got holding Reykjavik. Ooh, okay, that's a potential vulnerability. Let's recruit Sloop down here to occupy Newcastle. Upgrade Dundee, upgrade Liverpool. Tech advance, puddling furnace. Boom, extra boost to our uh, metallurgy industries. So that stuff that's been recruited continue to advance or to or to go up to their respective armies. Okay, you guys advance out and destroy this small Spanish army. You make it into Turin. Turin's down to minus two. Let's give them the last militia that they're missing. Down to minus one. So now Mr. Guthman can replenish plus get a unit of. Let's get a Chevalier Dragoon unit. Well, actually, actually that makes it. Oh, that's a lot of cavalry. Probably want a, another unit of infantry, in which case let's get a Western European mercenary. And then you, good sir. Oh my god. Where do they. Oh, do they just. Okay. Surrender refused. Well, that's, that would be 
silly to fight it. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it makes sense, I suppose. This is not a connected part of their territory. And the very least, you're Catholic. We're Catholic. You guys should chill out. Probably don't need a seminary there. Because we're all good Catholic people, and as is most of the stuff around here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's only one raid here at Memel, and that's fine. I'll send you up to raid Russian shipping. Oh god, that's a Russian... Uh, run! Run, little sloop. Wonder why they, wonder why they didn't intercept us. So where did the Russians land that army then? Because they sent a full army over here. It's not near Finland. Maybe it was near Finland, because there's lots of troops down here and there's raided stuff. Maybe they just got stomped on real quick. Lek Hedblom. Brynjulf Ondal. Okay. So I know you guys have a lot of good stuff on the way. Recruit two 24 pounders. I'll recruit any howitzer units like this. Yeah, there they are. Good. 7,000. Let's get. I mean, the Royal Observatory is always a good upgrade. Um, Weaver's Cottage. Let's make sure. Okay, let's do. Try and expand our road building along one more region. 449, that gives us. We can get a Blunderbuss Shotgunner unit. Why the hell not? They might be an interesting garrison unit. You guys are going to be ready for Genoa. To, well, to be honest, you guys are probably going to attack Genoa, take the city, then take Milan, then you guys are going to take Naples, and then that's quite a significant significant loss for the uh, Spanish. You guys are going to push down towards this bridge. You men are going to support. I mean, you guys aren't even needed here anymore. You guys may hold in southern France for reinforcements to maybe sail and take hit Crimea. Introduce a southern front against Russia. Because you can see they are moving up lots of stuff lots of stuff. Oh, Rizmar's gone on to steam engine, not necessarily the best thing to do. Go for punch card loom, it's a bit faster. Okay, Venice has got their fortifications, which is good. Here in the Americas. You guys just hop in. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I should have done that the other way around. You are just going to auto-resolve Port Royal. Because that's... Well, no, auto resolve. Don't demand their surrender. They're pirate dogs. Okay, we haven't got enough money to do everything we want. You guys get into Grand Bahama. Next turn, we're up to 23,000. Those are our ministers. Ah, we, need, we can get an America's minister now, although Ball the Frey is. <laughs> he's probably still going to be up there. Plus one management, plus one justice, plus one happiness. Mr. Kellerman, who looks very... Kellerman? That's the guy in Better Call Saul. Definitely don't want him managing anything. Marcus Muller. Plus one Navy. Plus one Management. Plus one Justice. No, but all my ministers are just super duper. So it's only Ball the Fray. And even then, no one really stands out as being a better than four-star candidate. You keep trying to break Lille, my pleasure garbage, which might actually be not a bad decision. Because uh, we are, we do want to upgrade some of these other happiness buildings, I suppose. Allow my counter-attacking force at Gdansk to continue growing in strength. 
Spain may go pick up more troops. Poland is eventually going to declare war on us. To be honest, so is the, so are the, everyone is. Everyone's going to declare war on us, but we are on a really strong roll. I mean, I might, I definitely want to beef up my garrison at Venice because that's a lot of Ottoman troops. Um, but I am really hoping I can get quicklime pretty darn quick. Because quicklime would really, really help. Especially in the form of how it says not stupid mortars because they never seem to work for me. With mortars, I either use quicklime and they kill my own guys and I can't actually make them attack anything because if I right-click to attack, they seemingly mm, abandon their guns and wander off. So I have to let them fire at will, but, but then when they fire at will, they attack men that are too close to the walls, do damage to my own walls, and demoralize my own troops. So mortars are very much two thumbs down in this game, but howitzers, brilliant. Come on, Russia. Make your push. Do it. Where do you fancy? You can raid all you like, Russia. You can raid as much as you like. That's why I don't spend money on frontier towns, because they're forever getting raided. Just let them break them and leave it. Spend the money elsewhere. I'm not interested in counter-attacking yet. To be honest, I should just take Copenhagen. <laughs> I very much not... Well, there's no rush to take Copenhagen. That's the challenge. They're pumping out small ships. That's not good. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world either. That and taking Copenhagen puts me at risk with Sweden in the future. New town emerges. Florence. Hey, right when I conquer the territory. Although you could probably do with having a coaching in to stop yourself from getting too unhappy. Can you guys leave Rome? You can! Straight on to Naples. I mean, just give up, Naples. I mean, meh. Just, just chomp. <laughs> when they've got no garrison in there, it's just super not... It's just not enticing at all to fight the battles. Okay, let's get rid of the local fishery. Upgrade you to a trading port. Get rid of the church school. Upgrade you to a craft workshop. Upgrade you to a nine workshop. Let's upgrade the roads in these areas. Farms aren't super critical, but upgrade them because they're cheap and they're quick. You men are replenishing, ready to hit Genoa. That might even draw in this this provincial cavalry unit. But you guys need to. You guys need some backup. Even demi cannons. Even demi cannons. Something like that. Everywhere else, the build up continues. Trade raided, military tech, reform naval administration, good stuff. Go on to carronades, eh, go on to lime juice, it's quicker. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded, in terms of stuff being built. Some of our other territories in the east are being... having their military capabilities beefed up. Eh, let's maybe upgrade... Paris pleasure building, especially because we know they're trying to break the one at Lille. More ships, more troops, all good stuff. Works on strike in Savoy, but they've got over it. Uh, the sloop down here at Greenwich we can sail up to Newcastle, protect the port. Good. You probably want to be an industrial building, but don't worry about it yet. I mean, there's lots of admin at the minute. Because at the moment, the enemy isn't really doing... Well, it's building up a bit more strength, I suppose. 
But all I'm probably going to do is do take you guys to hit Shaster Hassan. Because then you will fight the bulk of the garrison without drawing on the garrison. Although the smart move would probably been, would have been to attack the garrison because now they've got... They've got these troops outside. The garrison's weak and they won't have many troops coming. Get, they won't be getting many troops for free. Whereas now if I attack them and clear them out, they will get maybe half of a garrison for free rather than a quarter. Bit of a silly move. But yeah, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if it's been a bit of a boring one, but sometimes there's a bit of a bit of a uh, breathing period to get things ready for the next offensive. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.